Hey folks, this is IOE Thurman back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Off Duty Ninja. He is in his can J Panzer 105. I am, um, I don't remember what this is called, to be honest. But that's a Panther. Or a Jaguar, maybe. But, um, anyways, this is a special little machine. It's a um, premium machine back, for, or tier 8 premium machine, German, obviously. Um, that, I think, is three marks of excellence. It might be two, but it's a lot of lines, and I can't tell. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, somebody will pause somewhere and count those lines. But anyways, um, this is a tier 9 game on Mervanka, and um, this thing, when it first came out, had a really, really unfortunate little gun, and then it was buffed. And so this is what uh, most of the people that had this thing originally now have in the garage. And uh, <laughs> it can do some damage. So he wasn't spotted doing that. Though so he's probably about to get spotted doing that. No. What? He had to have been spotted. That's so cheeky. Unfortunately, he did not go through. Um, and he's no way... Is the Larian going to sit there long enough? Yep, the Larian is going to sit there long enough for us to track him. That is the second time he's been tracked, so he's going to stay with his track off for a while. And apparently long enough for us to reload. We just got a mission done, and that poor Larian is dying. Oh, the shot through the window does not connect. Lorian is still in the game. Lorian is quite deadly, but um, we're not going to be taking him out this uh, right now, anyway. Apparently, this thing is quite good as far as the camo rating goes. I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was like an E25 or T8. <laughs> Ooh, the shot. He doesn't even go wait till he sees the outline. He just takes the shot. Takes the Lorraine out, and now our team is winning this side of the map. Um, that is the side of a team 95. Anyone else feel like this is. No, this is in fact a regular gateway. I was like, that T95 seems to be going backwards quite fast, but apparently that's just the speed they reverse now. Um, it's possible the replay has quit and sped up a little bit. I don't think so. Uh, Emil, oh yeah, give us the side of that turret. No! You're not supposed to walk away again. E20, E75, sorry, not E25. Not gonna give us anything because he's too far below the hill. <laughs> thought we were gonna have a shot there, didn't ya? I thought we were gonna have a shot too. I I'm sure Ninja thought we were gonna have a shot. There was, there was no shot. There's a shot here though. Goes ahead and busts the defender in the side. Doesn't get spotted doing it. And now he's going to sneak a little closer and do it again. Except this time he's going to take out the 110. I thought we were shooting a defender again for a second, but that was the 110. This is the T95. Oh. Nope. Doesn't get to shoot the T95. That shot may have connected. We'll have to check back to the stats at the end. Unless you can tell if the T95 is on less health. No, I don't think he is. Legacy of the Void is apparently still quite healthy. And rolling around the backside of the hill, so we're not going to get his shots on him anytime soon. Um, he's pushing up on our Scorpion G. And most likely he's going to be able to take that position because... There is nothing on our side of the map that can threaten the T95 from the front. And, uh, we don't have shots as back, so yeah. Looking for the Mail 2 or the Scorpion G. Not gonna find the Mail. Looks like he might find the Scorpion if it comes up a little bit closer. T95, ISM, and something else are pushing out. It's gotta be the E75. Um, Ninja is skirting back around. We're gonna to speed this up a little bit because. Well, he's not in combat, and uh, why not? And neither of us has all day. 
<laughs> I am uh, I'm leaving for get vacation soon, and so I gotta record two replays a day instead of one replay a day to make sure you guys have something to watch while I'm not here. And so, yeah. Ooh, bouncing off the U75. I was holding my breath. Were you? I, I thought for certain he was gonna nail that shot. That's not quite how it went down, though. There we go. Taking out the <laughs> E75. I almost said E25 again. What can I do the same with the ISM? I don't think he's going to get to uh, from this location. He's going to have to either push up or hope that the ISM pushes up. Because um, I'm pretty sure he's behind another hill from us. 430 is going to get a lot closer, actually. I was just going to jump in the ambush for the poor guy. And the IS-7 is going to have no chance against Object 430. Yep. It's one dead ISM. I said it's one dead ISM. There we go. That was what it was. Nice snapshot into Scorpion G. We know the email has shot at least once. No, not going to. There's, there's two. Apparently, that's the emails just being really cagey. I mean, you can kind of understand he is in a um, lopsided situation. He's definitely it's not totally lost yet. You could pull this back if you were the email. Uh, you'd have to fire some pretty accurate shots and not waste time with your reloads. But it is possible to pull this back, and so he is being cagey because he does want to retain that possibility of still winning this game. Though, with each passing moment the ninja closes in, that the possibility of winning goes down for the enemy team. Looking for this WZ, looks like we're not going to find it. 416 is either going to have to go in there and spot him, or we're just going to have to wait him out. We don't really want to wait him out, so we're going to speed it up a little bit. Sorry about the yawns. It did just get off a full day of work. Now I get a full night of work of recording, so I'm uh, a little bit tired. Okay. Oh, J Tiger, right over there. Are we gonna get lit if we do this? Looks like yes. For the first time in the game, we get lit, and now we know where the Ryan Motel is. Though I don't know if there's anything we can do about it. Uh, okay, apparently yes. He's just gonna crest the hill. Take a big old meaty smack from the WZ, and then, um, well, proceed not to care all over again. The WZ is in a great location as far as him, you know, to protect himself. Uh, we definitely can't hit him. But we can hit the armor of the Chag Tiger and bounce off him into space and not do a darn thing to him either. Okay. Well, it's third try in Rocky, right? So, one more shell into the a tire would be great. Looks like, in fact, he's going after the WZ. He asked the, uh, the 416 to push in on him. And the 416 is actually, looks like he's doing it. No, nope, never mind. He's, in fact, stopped where he is. Ah, there we go. The WZ goes down. And now it is a, well... Three on two. Um, the meal two is back here fighting for all he's worth. He is pretty sure he's reloaded or reloading one of the two. Um, and so it's yeah. Ooh. He's looking to get the kill on the Samoa. Oh, nice fire on the Yag Tiger. Ooh, a meal two takes out the. Both of them, both of our eyes just went down to the meal too. However, the meal's got to be reloading, or he's got to be reloading pretty soon. I think he's only got one shell left, if anything, and the 416 is already on our flank. Look at that. Going in for the shot, gets the track, and is hovering around 
This guy is obviously reloading. And, uh, so why not push him, right? Unfortunately, the bounce at the last possible second, but saved by the 416. And, uh, if you guys want to know if these two platoon up for Brothers in Arms, you're going to have to wait and see. Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fire Perfect. He gets two bombs out of this. High caliber and a top gun. So close to the Radley Walters. Unfortunately, I managed to bounce the last shot that would have killed the mill too. Oh well. I mean, it happens, but obviously he made some money off this tank. Uh, 5,000 <laughs> damage done. And props to the Object 416. They did not end up platooning up, so they don't get the Brothers in Arms. But they do get a ton of experience and... A great job from both of them. This was a, a great game to watch. I truly enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see both of your next games. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This is IOE Throughout.